You've probably heard the expression, it pays dividends. This statement refers to a current action that may result in a future reward or advantage. In the realm of equities, it sometimes does, in the form of a dividend. So what exactly are dividends, and what do they imply for investors? Is it truly just free money from kind companies? Dividends are periodical payments made to shareholders from a company's profits. They're kind of like incentives for putting your money into their endeavor, similar to how you'd get interest on money in a savings account or a bond. Let's look at dividends and their benefits and drawbacks. Welcome to Cashflow Canvas, where we teach lessons about investment and money-saving techniques. If you want to make your financial future better, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Companies often pay out dividends in cash, but they can also give their shareholders additional shares instead. Why would a corporation do such a thing? For one thing, it's a means of thanking their investors for their faith and money in the company. Companies with excess funds have two options. Pay dividends to shareholders or reinvest the funds in the firm. Typically, if the board of directors cannot obtain a good return on investment by utilizing the capital to grow the company, it will distribute dividends. If they can't utilize it to grow, they should return some of it to shareholders. As their growth has halted, older and more stable companies are more likely to pay dividends, whereas new companies are more inclined to continue investing in the company. Dividends, on the other hand, have a favorable impact on an investor's outlook. It can boost their confidence and keep them satisfied even if the stock price isn't rising. Dividends are regarded as an indication of financial health and stability. If an investor continuously receives good dividends from a company, they are likely to be a fairly loyal shareholder who is content with receiving regular money. What exactly is a dividend? A SUBI purchased 10 shares of a corporation and they declare a $1 dividend per share for the current quarter. As a result, you receive a $10 dividend payment. If they do this for each quarter of the year, you will receive a total dividend of 40 for the year. Dividend yields will not make you wealthy. However, corporations pay 1 to 2% of their stock price in dividends yearly, with 75% of those in the S&P 500 index paying regular dividends. DRIPS are dividend reinvestment plans offered by some companies. These allow you to reinvest the cash dividend in the company's equity at a discount. Of course, if the dividend is paid in additional shares of stock rather than cash, it just means you control a little more of that company. Dividend reinvestment is usually possible with most brokerage accounts as well. If you do not choose cash payments, the dividend will be utilized to acquire new shares at the most recent price. The board of directors decides how and how frequently dividends are paid out monthly, quarterly, as is most customary in the United States, or annually. The board must also obtain shareholder approval for dividend distribution via a vote. Dividend types. In addition to receiving bonus money, many people like dividends because they may provide tax benefits. However, these benefits are conditional on whether the dividend is qualified or unqualified. Qualified dividends have preferential tax treatment since they are taxed at long-term capital gains rates rather than income tax rates. Unqualified dividends, often known as ordinary dividends, are taxed at your marginal tax rate. Dividends are not only paid by individual stocks. Other assets and even certain insurance firms pay dividends. Many index funds and ETS, for example, pay dividends. Despite the fact that you only hold a percentage of the shares, you will be paid accordingly. In the case of index funds and ETS, the dividend is calculated using the fund's net asset value, or NAV. Simply put, it is assets less obligations. Bonds are another sort of dividend-paying investment. When you purchase a bond, you are essentially lending money to a corporate or government body. The corporation or government promises to pay you a predetermined rate of interest, sometimes known as a dividend, in exchange for your loan. Bond dividends unlike stock dividends, are a legal duty. However, it is not advised that you gamble your retirement on bonds. You'd be better off investing in a combination of growth stocks that offer a higher risk-reward ratio. A surprising vehicle that may yield a dividend is life insurance. 
Some insurance firms are known as mutual insurance companies because they are not publicly listed and are owned jointly by policyholders. If the company produces a profit, a policyholder dividend might be declared. But keep in mind that life insurance is not an investment. It is simply insurance. What effect do dividends have on stock prices? When news of a dividend payment gets public, there is sometimes a rush to buy a company before the ex-dividend date. Despite the fact that dividend payments are typically fairly minimal, investors flock to the company. In this instance, the share price will rise. Another common occurrence is the price falling after the ex-dividend date since anyone purchasing the stock on or after that day would not receive the dividend. Therefore, individuals sell the stock. This doesn't make sense because if a stock has a 2% annual dividend yield, it only pays 0.5% quarterly, which might easily be swallowed by daily market movements. Most dividend investors are unconcerned about these little price swings. Should you buy something just for the dividend? Don't be duped. While dividends may feel like a bonus or reward, investing solely for dividends does not make sense because dividend payments usually result in slower capital appreciation. Because those companies often have slower growth, the overall returns aren't always going to be higher. Second, just because a stock pays a dividend doesn't make it a successful investment. Previously, General Motors took on debt especially to fund dividends. Simply put, this is a debt taken out by the shareholders to pay themselves. As a result, GM underperformed the market, but unsuspecting shareholders remained invested and lost money. Consider each percentage of the stock's price paid as a dividend. The stock's capital appreciation will be that much lower. Dividend stocks with a lengthy history of consistent dividend payments and decent capital appreciation include Target, Johnson & Johnson, Coca-Cola, and Procter & Gamble. However, because these companies have been operating for a long period, their overall returns do not compare to newer, fast-growing companies that reinvest their revenues. Dividends can be beneficial to your investment strategy. Regular income might be utilized to support retirement needs or to purchase a new car. Depending on your circumstances, they may also produce low-tax income. However, the money received is essentially a withdrawal from your portfolio. When investing in companies for dividends, you should exercise caution and ensure that the company is in excellent financial condition and not merely giving dividends to please shareholders. Instead of focusing solely on the yield, consider the big picture. Stocks with very high yields are frequently in difficulty, which will not end well in the long run. As we conclude, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you found value in this video and learned something new, and I look forward to seeing you in our future videos. I would deeply value it if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support will help us to create more valuable content, and we can work together to secure your financial future. What are the key takeaways from this video that you can share in the comment section?